Hi there guys, welcome back to the Founder channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to mine ETHW plus ZIL to the EZIL pool. Okay, so before we're able to dual mine ETHW and ZIL, what we're going to need to do first is just make sure that we've added the network for ETHW onto our MetaMask. So if you've got this up there already and potentially you may already have some balance in there, but we're going to need this for the address. Okay. And if you do not have this added to your MetaMask, what I will do is I will leave the details for you for the Network in the description for you. But this is all that you'll need to do. So you'll just need to add the network name and follow the details as described in this article here. Okay. And then also as well, we are going to need a Zillica wallet. So we will need uh, either Binance or a different uh, provider for this. So for myself, because I've always used uh, Binance when it comes to depositing in my Zill, this is what I'll be using when it comes around to depositing this coin into there. Okay, so taking us back to Ezil, what we're going to need to do is press join. So make sure to change that to ETHW plus Zill. Now let's take ourselves back up to our MetaMask wallet. Go ahead and copy your address from your ETHW into the ETHW wallet section. And then let's take ourselves back over to Binance and make sure to click the Zillica network for this one and press copy as well for your code for your address. And then take that back over there. I will also leave a link for Binance for you guys in the description if you don't currently already have that as well. Okay, so this next section is which mine operating system are we currently using at the moment? So myself personally at the moment, I'm going to be using Windows. So if you're using Hive OS, Minestat, Rave OS, OS Dog, or simply or Simple Mining, then make sure to click either of those and it will direct you step by step through that. Check on your region. So I'm in Europe, so I'm going to stick with Germany. And choose the miner. So the miner that I'm going to be using uh, on this time is going to be... I'm going to take T-Rex this time. And, and because I'm using a 3090, I'm going to put 3090 in the miner's name. So if you do not have either of these miners yourself, so G Miner, LOL Miner, NB Miner, T Rex, or Team Red Miner or Phoenix, then all you're going to need to do is click on either either one of these and then press Download Miner. And what it should do is it should open up their GitHub, which it has. And then what you need to do is download the correct miner for yourself and if you're on windows you're just going to need the t-rex 0.26.6 windows version for that okay so taking us back to the easel pull what we're going to need to do is go ahead and make sure it's on t-rex copy the script that's given us so this is updated us with our address codes as you can see there and our worker name that we put in there as well Okay, so once you've got your script copied and you've downloaded the correct miner, find your miner in its downloads folder. And then what you're going to need to do is create a folder saying T-Rex miner and then extract all these files that are inside of there and create yourself your own folder. Now, because I've already got one going, I'm just going to go off this and assume that you guys already have the download and extracting clocked already and how to do so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new text document and I'm going to name this ethw plus zil. This was just saved as a normal text document. Open this up, paste in the script that they gave you before. So just make sure that everything there is correct for you. So as you see, the worker name is there is 3090. So I believe that everything so far is correct. Then what you're going to need to do is take yourself back over to file, press save as, okay? And at the end of this, I keep the name the same, type dot, and then in lowercase, type bat. And that will make it a, an executable file. Press save. Close this off now, it's not needed. And as you can see, above that note now, it has created a executable file for yourself. So... Let me just open up my MSI Afterburner. And because this is using uh, the ETH hash, the exact same as Ethereum, your settings can be the exact same as you used it for Ethereum. So it is sometimes a lot more easier if you do stick to the type of coins that you are already aware of and how to set your settings correctly for them. So what I'm going to do 
is I've pressed that now, so my GPU is now powering up, and I'm sure you may be able potentially to hear it in the background. I'm then going to run this bat file, and hopefully, yeah, we are now successfully mining ETHW and ZIL. Okay, so let's go. Okay, now, so what I've done is I've jumped back over to the EZIL pool. And what I've also done is I've pressed the join button that was on the bottom of the screen prior. And what that did is that kind of just opened up my dashboard to show me my stats. Now, uh, when it comes to the withdrawal of ETHW, I believe it's 0 0.05 ETHW. And I think that's around about 50 uh, cents. So that's not a crazy high you know, minimum withdrawal on there. So I do appreciate that when it comes around to it. Uh, and then the ZIL is their standard 30 ZIL payout. Now, just so you're aware, it will be f basically focus mined all on ETHW and then it will rotate and it will stop mining for 10 minutes of each hour to mine Zillica. So just keep that in mind if that's something that you're interested in doing. I've I personally mined ETH and ZIL uh, before before the merge. Uh, I, I, I spent quite a lot of my time mining, dual mining with both of these two because I do believe, uh, you know, just having a little extra sometimes is, is pretty good. ZIL itself, um, I've seen it, you know, around about eight, you know, eight cents. Um, and I've been there from the, you know, from the start to finish when this has moved up and down. And I also do believe in Zillica as a project. So it's definitely not the worst coin that you could add to your bag at the same time as well as going for it. Uh, now, checking over the referral program. Now, thank you very much to Ivan over at the Ezil team. He gave me my own promo code, which is great. And I will pop this for you guys in the description for you. So if you do start up and you start yourself mining on an Ezil, whether it is for a different cryptocurrency or whether it's for the same cryptocurrency that we're talking about right now, you can use this promo code here for anything that you'd like. Now for myself, I currently do not have a promo code activated on mine. So what I'm willing to do, guys, if any of you out there that use my promo code, I am willing to jump on and use your promo code instead as well okay so make sure that if you yourself are interested in me using your code make sure you drop a comment in the box uh, in the comment section uh, with your promo code and maybe pop down your uh, you know your your minor address just so that I can see you know that you've actually jumped on and used mine and then what I'll do is maybe tomorrow or in a couple of days what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I will add your promo code to mine and that's there permanently so that basically means for as long as that you guys mine with Ezil I would earn a percentage of your revenue and vice versa assuming that we stick to mine and ETHW for the for the long period of time Okay guys, I appreciate you guys for sticking through and watching this video till the end. If you guys would like to see more videos or see updates of content that I'm going to be posting uh, in the near future, please do make sure to drop us a subscribe and leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video.